Resident Evil 8 just got a major update, not only fixing the anti-cheat to apparently stop causing stuttering issues right after people cracked the game and showed that without the anti-cheat it ran better. <laughs> hmm, weird how that got the ball rolling, but not all the people complaining for the last few months. But anyway, I'm not actually testing out the stuttering issues here because it would be hard for me to reproduce uh, at the moment, but I am going to test out the other major update here we've got which is Fidelity FX Super Resolution. This is designed to decrease the rendering resolution of the game, but then upscale it nicely so it still looks good, but giving you a big performance boost. Now, you can see my uh, measurements over here. We've got uh, my GPU usage, GPU memory, CPU usage. You'll see the current frame rate in the left, the average frame rate in the middle, and the 1% lows on the right. I currently have my game on a RTX 2070, and an i5-9600K, 16 gigabytes of RAM. The game, game is on an NVMe SSD. We're at 1440p, and I set the game to the maximum settings. I used the maximum preset, but then I went in and turned on ray tracing. This is higher settings than if you use their ray tracing preset, which actually isn't maximum settings um, at all. So you can see the settings of the game. Currently, uh, FSR is off. Let's see what the game looks like, then we'll turn it on and see what kind of an image quality degradation we get. I'll also make myself disappear so I'm out of your way. Okay, so here is the game at maximum settings uh, in this scene. By the way, I'd be getting uh, about eight frames per second better if I was recording using, uh, a, or either not recording or using a different method. Um, I, for some reason, my normal screen capture method isn't working right now on Resident Evil 8, although I had issues with that before the update as well. I don't know what, what's going on. It just likes to turn off the recording in the middle of it. Anyway, so you can see what this thing looks like. Pay special attention to the grass and the tree limbs because that's where I feel like FSR is going to kind of fail us in this game. But I, I don't want to color your opinion too much. Let's go ahead and test it out. Notice my frame rate right now is 56. All right, options, display, go to the FSR settings, and I wouldn't recommend going much below ultra quality. Unless you're at 4K, you might get away with going lower. Ultra quality tends to be the only usable setting at 1440p. Uh, let's go ahead and try it out. Okay. So I don't know about you guys, but first of all, I mean, yeah, we're getting significantly better frame rate. We're into the upper 60s now instead of the mid 50s. However, look at the grass and look at the tree limbs. I feel like these are noticeably worse, very noticeably worse to the point where I'd argue that turning this on only makes sense if you're having trouble getting a stable frame rate even at maybe low settings, in which case it could be a great way to boost your frame rate uh, with just a little loss to the sharpness. And don't worry, I'll show you the, the image in motion, but first let's test out the other settings. So let's go ahead and um, show you what all of them look like. So uh, going down further to quality lowers the rendering resolution even more, but then has even more trouble upscaling the image. I think you will notice that the, uh, the grass and the trees look even less sharp. Notice things that like the bricks and things like that, while they are less sharp, it's much less noticeable than those fine details like the grass. So if you're in a scene that doesn't have the grass, this might be a little bit more usable. Let's go ahead and decrease it further just so we can test them all out. Again, this is at 1440p. Okay, going down to balanced, so here we are at balanced. In my opinion, the game is now looking like an oil painting and it would be, um, I, I mean, just unusable in my opinion, okay? Uh, but, you know, if you're playing on like an integrated chip or something that supports uh, FSR and you're just trying to, you just want to play the game and you're already at low settings, this might be better than just a, a normal upscaling technique. All right, we're down to performance now. We've got a great frame rate. Again, the frame rate would be even better if I wasn't using this recording method, but uh, you can still see what things look like. It looks like an oil painting, <laughs> okay? <laughs> um, so that's what it looks like. 
Overall, I do want to show you guys the game in motion, but I'll give you guys my final thoughts. Also, something important to note about screen resolution. At 4K, you have more pixels to work with, so your ultra quality setting might be more usable than it was for me at 1440p. At 1080p, it's going to be even worse because you have less to work with in the first place. All right, once again, let's get a look at native. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the game at native, and the, uh, uh, people complain in some videos that uh, we always give a static image. Well, I'll give you a moving image, but the issue is that you get YouTube compression, um, and in motion it's going to be much worse, so it's harder to see the details. But I will show you uh, a little run through the village here at native, and then we'll go ahead and flip on the ultra quality, which in my opinion is the only one that you should even consider using. Uh, maybe unless you were at 4K. And let's see how this looks. And you can also compare what kind of frame rates we were getting. Okay, so here is the ultra quality. Resetting the average frame rate counter here. Okay, so we're at ultra quality. My frame rate does feel much better now. The game feels better to play but I do feel like those fine details in the trees and such are definitely a bit less sharp. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments section. Maybe you could uh, test it out at 4K or 1080p if those are the resolutions that you play at, and let me know what you think. Overall, I'm glad that this is here, but I'm not sure I'm gonna use it too much myself. I also want to give a special thank you to people who hit the join button helping fund my channel. You actually are some of the best people in the entire world. Also a thank you to anybody who subscribed to my channel if you're interested in tech news and reviews. Have an excellent day.